shame, or honor, these are complex ideologies and they inform our own ideas about personhood. Um, these are emotional, psychosocial, behavioral codes and they often determine our social action. I want to invite you uh, to think about two recent episodes. There was an incident about a suicide in Mayo College uh, and it was a male suicide um, and related to an issue of sexual harassment. This was a college lecturer who was accused of uh, harassment and his name was cleared informally but he said I want a formal clearance of my name. So this was a fear of shame. One can analyze it once one goes into the details. What is it about this whole issue that led him to commit suicide? A similar incident um, was Nimrita Kumari. Now, um, the, it is, of course, very, very contested. I'm scared even to say that it's a suicide uh, because there is the other narrative which says it was probably a murder. And perhaps there may have been a close link to either it being a suicide or a, or a murder. But if, or apparently, as it is a suicide, it is definitely related to the ideology of shame, that particularly that uh, a, a woman who, who's not with us anymore. And it, it's a self-imposed silence that both of them had, perhaps for the sphere of the shame uh, uh, about their reputation and, and so on. So I think these are extremely powerful ideologies and we really need to understand them in order to both understand cultural violence against women and our responses against uh, these women, uh, these, uh, this form of violence. <laughs>